Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Thank you guys for your constant support. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. I'm going to attach the romantic tarot above and you'll see uh, you'll see last week's video for you guys um, somewhere along the line. Just keep looking above. You'll see the attachments. There's a new video that comes out every single week and these are energy readings. So I'm no longer putting dates on them, but I do come out with a new one every week. So if you want them fresh off the press, please do click subscribe, help the channel grow and ring that bell so you get notified as soon as I upload the videos. There's always an extended. So this is an Oracle card energy reading um, and it's pretty in depth. But if you want more, there's an extended reading always, 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 always. And that goes, it's a little bit more personal. It's a little bit more articulated. The facts are a little bit more specific and it includes a romance reading as well. So if you're interested in the extended, that link is in below and it's usually in the comment section too, but it's always in the description box. And I hope to see you over there. It's on Vimeo. You can check me out. You can follow me on Vimeo at Born Without Boundaries. On, uh, over there. So it's up to you guys, but know that that's always an option for you. Whew, let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what the universe has in store for you this week. Um, it has been for most Libra, 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 Libra. Crowning your energy. Wow. Take the lead. This is you being tapped to be a leader, to be the initiator. Now, a lot of times Libra and Cancers especially do not get credit for being cardinal signs because we don't really act like them. Capricorn and Aries walk into every single room expecting to be the leader without whether they earned it or not. <laughs> they, just like, they just assume that they were born so they earned it and they're always, they're very, they're much more aggressive signs. But when it comes to Libra, you're not so aggressive. There is a sense of you taking a lead to make other people happy, to be the master diplomat or medium, to be that go-between, that person who makes everybody work together, almost like the master beta. Beta as in one step down from alpha, um, not as an insult, but as in, if you look at wolf packs, you see the beta is the one that makes everybody, like breaks up the arguments and, and makes everybody get along. Uh, and that would be Libra energy. So usually when it says Libra, take the lead, this is Libra, make everybody get along, make everybody talk, show everybody the way and like the righteous path. But this is a little bit more amped up than this. I have to say, this is Libra, you're the one that has to be the initiator or you're the one that's going to be the initiator. You could have found something that finally inspires you enough to make a decision Make it easily, make it permanent, and make it a path in your life. So this is you. You're taking the lead, and people will follow you. People will listen to you. Know that with this spirit and this energy behind you, Libra, you're not going to fail because you are meant to do this. This is an energy that says you're tapped into spirit. You can see, look, it's like he has the, um, his, his antlers are actually antenna. And they're attaching up to the ether and literally filtering, filtering down messages directly from the ether. So how does that translate to you, 3D style? You're meant to do this. This is a good idea. Get going. This card doesn't show up for just everybody, but it's been showing up for a lot of signs um, recently. I would say more often than I've seen it in a long time. So that tells me that people are able to start making up their minds now. Uh, there's, co there's commitment issues are solved. People have more direction. Um, but you, it's interesting that this energy is coming up for you. You have, like I said, an interesting position in the Zodiac and that is to be that, that sign that reminds us what it is to be in partnership with others and how important partnership with others is. And as um, the planet of Saturn, the planet of restrictions and karma, gets closer to going into Aquarius for two and a half years, 
and we're going to be it's going to be going into Aquarius for a brief period between um, the end of March and July just to give us a flavor of how different it is when it's in than when it's in Capricorn this is a sense of thinking about others caring about others and and that mentality of being able to make people work together and get along with many different kinds of people is going to be something that is quite prominent it's going to be something that is a uh, a quite important and with people with those attributes those abilities oh, I'm sorry about that um, are going to be recognized so this could be a really big opportunity for you Libra to be able to step out in front but also this sense of you being the partnership 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 let me get into that i want to see a bunch of cards fell out for you this is kind of a this is kind of a big stack let's see what we've got embrace the in-between this is you <laughs> this is i mean this is the common this is also libra energy this is essentially you being if you if you can follow the metaphor or the imagery of the scale libra you being that midpoint between both sides you being that balancing point and what reminds people what to give and what to take this is embrace the in-between this is you libra reminding people to be um Think of Flamingo and the way that he stands on one leg and he'll switch over between each leg. It's economy. It's to basically save energy. And then also think of Flamingo and how they live their lives. They live their lives in a flock and they're very bright, beautiful, really um, kind of like um, extraordinary coloring is predominantly to protect themselves, to form this mass of shocking color that in return makes them look much larger than they would individually. So this is you reminding people or being in a position, maybe you're taking a work position or maybe this is a position that you end up in your family, but this is you being able to be that moderator, that person that stands in between and embracing it and loving it. And that's how you're leading is by getting people to work together so yes maybe if you applied for this job as a manager or as a director you're going to get it because you're going to be organizing people and making them all work together this is a sense of embrace the in-between when it comes to um maybe you're the one that ends up getting two of your friends back together again or helping out somebody else's marriage this is you being the one that sort of uh stands in between everybody and craziness and allows both sides to talk to each other. Embrace the in-between. Not only are you embracing it, but you're using it as a modality for your leadership. Take the leap of faith. This is luck. This is luck. This is it. Like, do it. Go off for the opportunity. Go get it. Don't be worried about fear or maybe you're nervous. I know it's difficult for Libras, especially to sort of make that commitment or make that decision because we're always thinking of, you know, what could happen, but just do it. Just do it because here we are in spirit saying, you better go. You better take the leap of faith. Just jump in. This is awesome luck that's coming to you. And just like those rubbing of those back legs, on a grasshopper, um, there's vibrations here. So if you're picking up on anything, you're picking up on vibrations or something might sound really good to you. So if something is sounding really good to you, jump in because it's going to work out for you. Be peace. This is once again your energy. You're the one coming in and being the one that makes sense out of both sides about a curious, like a, um, um, what was I going to say? A curious way of looking at things is from both sides simultaneously because then you can read down the middle and make everybody else understand that there is a middle ground here and there is a place to meet. This is also the energy of love. It's like, yes, be peace, be that you're like, literally you're be, becoming that figure that helps to be, bring balance back into a situation. This is a hundred percent you, this is justice, but it's also love. There's a sense of opening your heart and the Holy Spirit, spirit visiting you. So if you get divine inspiration, please trust it and go because you have wings to fly here. This is double energy, double energy of you. Like, and in the center is luck, lucky Libras.
I think luck is coming luck is coming your way. And I th and 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 it may be because spirit itself wants people to be more conscientious of your way of doing things. In other words, putting that seventh house of partnership and love and caring for each other um and working on our partnerships or working on our relationships with other people in general, even if it's not romance, they want it put first. Trust the great mystery. Oh man, this is your central energy and it's the number of awakening. Six plus five equals 11. You are awakening to a deep need to understand somebody else. You are awakening or getting opened up to by others because maybe you're the only one they feel like will, will listen to them. Um, you have trust in the great mystery is you're diving in deep and you're just trusting in the depths. And knowing that you're going to be okay down there because it's like it's like you can take your own little air bubble under the water with you. You'll be able to breathe down there. You're just going down there to see it, understand it, and understand it so that you can bring the knowledge back to others. This is your central energy. This is means this means you have the courage to do it. You have the courage to take the leap, hold your breath. You don't need to hold your breath. Just dive in deep. You'll 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 be fine down there. Um, life is speeding up. This is Gemini energy. Quick. Um, opportunities are coming to you quickly. Um, you're going to take quick action. It's also saying to you, don't think about this too much. You've been getting many cards that say leap and now it's like quick speeding up. See this? Things are intertwining. Those two sides are wrapping around each other, intertwining, racing toward the future, almost like a wind up toy plus two sides of itself is coming into union as well. This could also be sometimes DNA combining. So it could very well be pregnancy. Um, if you've been looking to get pregnant, this is a very fertile time for you. So get to it. Um, but last but not least, this is Gemini energy. So it's all about communication and making people communicate and get together and talk about things. If you have that opportunity, just jump in. Do not think about it. You'll know what to do when you get there. And you'll be support. Look at this. Let spirit be your guide. This is that, that air position once again. And this is usually more Aquarian energy, but it's still air position in, in that you have this objective position. You can take your emotions out of the situation and you can see things very clearly. And when you become objective, you think with a rational, reasonable, reasonable, reasonable head. And people want to listen to you. This is that above. Now, hawk, um, hawk is usually the messenger from the great spirit. And eagle represents the great spirit itself. But hawk is the messenger from the great spirit. So once again, we have this vein of you being that great communicator. I know that was like Ronald Reagan, but but this is you being the great communicator. But it's, it's not about being able to dictate things to people or um, even say what's right or wrong. It's about you being able to teach others how to communicate with each other so communication is more effective. Um, reclaim your power, taking hold of your own personal life, finding the words that you need to find to be able to communicate effectively to somebody else. Um, but like I said, this is that subtle power that you have that people don't, I think, give you enough credit for and that you don't give you enough credit for. You have a keen set of ears. You see things because you, it's almost like seeing things to listen. You don't see, you see things to just observe them. You'll take that quiet space. You'll take them in. You'll sit back and you'll watch and you'll know and you'll, you'll see use that to your advantage and this is becoming to your advantage this is telling me that you may have seen something get may have received uh, or witnessed some vital um witness some vital information and now you're the one that has the power to use that vital information to help heal a circumstance or situation or at the very least and maybe selfishly get the upper hand but no, you're not being called to be selfish. You're being called to fix the problem. And you don't even have, that's the thing. You don't even have to be called to be selfish because when you use the information that you have, because you could just listen instead of blah, 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 you will be the leader. You will be acknowledged. This, this gift of yours to observe and see the middle ground is what is just doing that is going to 
put the power back in your court. Um, moving on, be loyal to what you love. This is Cancerian energy. Um, this is 10, so something is coming to a conclusion. You're helping to make it come to a conclusion. This is also cardinal energy, taking care, taking care of your home and your heart space. What is it that you need to do to ensure the future of your family and the future of your loved ones? What is it that you need to do to ensure your consciousness and your morality? This is you making the decision to stand by what you care about and put that as a priority. It's also a person that is extremely loyal to you. So um, it, it could be calling you to say, hey, be loyal to the people that you care about. Um, um, or a reminder that you have somebody who's extremely loyal to you and to appreciate them more. Overcome any obstacle. This is Taurus energy. Being loyal to what you love will help you overcome any obstacle. So yes, you can know where you stand, but stand that ground in a fair and decent way. You're going to overcome the obstacle you're getting through this. Taurus is your, um, not your opposite sign. Taurus, Aries is your opposite sign. Uh, Taurus is your sort of Venetian sister because it's ruled by Venus too. Taurus has that energy of um, Venus in terms of loving luxury and loving beauty. Um, but Libra has the energy of loving love and loving, um, I'm sorry, Libra, Libra Venus has the energy of loving love and loving connection. And that's the kind of love that you guys focus on. But here you are, you have both those energies. So this could be a very beautiful and profitable situation just by you being who you are. Sing your own song, sing your own praises, man. This is more Gemini energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but you could be finding a middle ground and making progress with a Gemini or somebody with Gem Gemini in their charts. In other words, you're a master communicator this week. Communication is coming very, very easily for you, Libra, and it's going to be very, very necessary for everybody. And people are going to be singing your praises. I know why the cage bird sings. Oh, this is like the canary, that like the jailbird. Like the, he is, he is finding a way to sing even in the midst of craziness, even in the midst of, of maybe situations that other people fear, ultimately people are going to listen to it's his song. Why? Because it's a beautiful song, because it's something people want to hear and it's something that people want to know. This is the energy of the Holy Trinity, one plus two equals three. That is divine balance. So you're delivering the word, you're getting through this obstacle through communication. That's what you're over. You're, you're, you're basically knowing where you stand, making a decision, knowing where you stand and making progress and being listened to because you know where you stand, you believe in yourself and you're a master communicator. And then claim your independence. Um, one plus three equals four stability. You will land on your feet. When I see this card, you will hundred percent land on your feet. This could very well be even finding a way to leave or get out of a situation, but to still have people like you and still sort of not, um, who it, it, it still not hate you, not hate you. In fact, Gemini's usually have a lot of that ability to do that. Even though everybody says they hate um, Gemini's, they're always letting Gemini's back into their lives. Why? Because they know how to communicate with people. This is you being very life and, and mo and, and flexible and being able to basically, um, Take great leaps and mold yourself to many different situations in order to survive and deal and come out once again on your feet. And you will be coming out on your feet. But there is a sense when that show when that um, energy shows up, Libra, there could be a sense of you trying to get out of a difficult situation. Um and it working. <laughs> uh, surrender now. Nine plus three equals 12. And then we add up to three. Um, this is Sagittarius information soaring into something like a, like a, like a moth to a flame. This is you just basically devil may care flying right into it. Not being afraid of the flame, not being afraid of the heat, not being afraid of this is just go like a bullet into the fire, go straight into it. Cause it's going to fuel you. It's not going to burn you. All right, let's see what's grounding your energy. This is a really big reading. Grounding your energy are these three cards. First, we have the abundant universe will provide. 
that is a statement of, hey, Libra, get going because guess what? The universe will provide you what you need on your way through. This is also Taurus energy. You'll have resources. You'll have um, abundance. You'll have beauty. You'll be seen. People will trust you. You'll have everything that you need, even if you don't have it all right now. This is also the energy of 10. So something is finally coming to you. It's finally being delivered to you. Um, expect resources coming in um, or opportunities co-create co with spirit. This is the energy of eight, which is destiny. You've been tapped. When you get both of these cards in your reading, you've been tapped. You've got to get the job done. Make sure that you do this and don't stall or hesitate. Get it done before you have time to stall or hesitate. This is the energy of listening to spirit. You may have been seeing a lot of crows around you. It's because spirit has tapped you. Spirit is trying to tell you something, listen to its message, trust it, and follow it through. And then last but not least, love is all around. Also Gemini energy, this energy of five, which is change. This is going to bring about a huge change in your life. The actions that you take, the lead that you take, Libra, this is going to break, break, break down walls and people are going to be singing your praises. This is that energy of Gemini. Once again, everybody will listen to you. Everybody will want to. You'll know how to deliver important information in a fun and interesting way. It could have to do directly with music too, effectually singing or dancing or communicating through music. If you've been recently inspired to write a song or write, write any, anything that has to do with musicals or using your voice, do it. Talk and do it. Just get her done. And don't even like, don't even like worry too much about, um, being perfect because it, there's a, there's an implication here of just the fact that you're engaging, things will work out. You don't have to worry about get, get, getting all caught up in, does it look right? Is it perfect? Is it situated right? No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The, the correct messages will come out that need to come out. Um, so I'm not going to turn the, um, it's, it's been, it's a little long. The reading is long. Let me flip the camera around so you can see how big this reading is. Hold on. I just realized that these are the kind of readings that excite me, but they don't excite anybody else. <laughs> they don't. The internet, like they, everybody wants to hear about what your ex is doing and who they're messing with behind your back and who's backstabbing. Like everybody wants to hear that and nobody wants to hear, hey, guess what? This is a huge opportunity for you. You're, you're about to make a huge major breakthrough. Good on you. No, everybody, like this is my favorite kind of reading. I love this energy. It's encouraging energy. But you see, this is momentous. This is big. This is your big moment to shine. When you have these two energies, you are literally stepping into the spotlight. You will be listened to. There could be some like cat there that's trying to look at you and eat your canary, but essentially you're not worried about them. You're moving forward. Or this is just identifying a huge opportunity for you. Dive in. Just take it. Go. Now, I'm going to go into more specifics in the extended, guys. So um, please do follow me over there. That link is in the description box below. And it's going to include your love reading as well, Libra. I'll see you over there.